There are several key areas that when we look at communication and what makes a really good coach. And I'm gonna go over three of those in detail. And the first one we're gonna talk about is active listening. What is active listening? Active listening is living in the relationship of coaching by understanding that coaching is an influence process. So we are engaging and watching body language, not only hearing the words that people are speaking, but also hearing what's not being said. That is absolutely the beauty of active listening and active speaking. We must listen and be present as we engage with our clients. It is difficult and it seems as though it would be easier than it is, but active listening is key element of being a really wonderful coach. The next area I'd like to talk about is asking open-ended questions. Why are open-ended questions so important? Because if we're not providing open-ended questions, it becomes a consulting business and now a coaching business. I love listening to new coaches when I'm mentoring them and being able to show them and model them the way to ask the questions and not solve the problem. We want to, as human beings, go in and solve people's problems, but that's not our job as a coach. We're here trusting that our clients know and believe what's right for them. And our work is just to be a powerful mirror of their greatness and their evolution, their truth, and holding a safe space for them to have the courage to reveal their highest and best self. So really important to have those open-ended questions. The last area that I wanna talk about is understanding that there are gonna be areas where we have to call our clients out. And I will have to share a funny story. I had one time I was on the phone with a client and we're on the Zoom and he's going on and on about an explanation. I'm just sitting there listening like this. Just, he's just telling me the story and I'm just listening. And he's quiet and he's like, looks right at me. And he goes, you don't believe anything I'm saying, do you? And I was like, can I be honest? <laughs> and he said, he said, yes, he agreed. So, and I said, how does it feel to be blowing smoke up your own eye? And he burst out laughing. It was hysterical. So it was my ability to sit and let him hear himself. I didn't cut him off. I just let him communicate the story and whatever he was trying to convince himself, which is true. I didn't even have to coach him. I just had to listen. And I merely listened with an open ear and an open heart so he could work through his process. So I know that sounds like, wow, why was that good coaching? It was good coaching because I allowed him work through his process. And then I asked him, he operative in this. Can I tell you the truth? Can I ask you that? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question that may be uncomfortable for you? This is the thing when we're dealing with something where we have to call people out, it's really important that we ask permission when we feel as though we're in a situation where there is some tension. And I will say as a coach, you get paid to ask the tough questions. As coaches, we are paid to push. So understand and know that you may be in your own personal relationship to from your past, you would have never been courageous enough to ask these questions. But if you're coaching people, they're paying you to push them to uncomfortable zone. He may come across as though you're offending them, but ask their permission. Ask their permission before you raise and want to address something that you're seeing, something of honesty. Another way that you could ask that is to say, I'm curious or I'm wondering about. A wonderful way to ask an open-end question to handle a conflictual, potentially conflictual situation. So those are the three areas that I wanted to focus on in regards to coaching. But just understanding one of the most wonderful ways that we grow in our relationships as a coach is modeling what healthy communication looks like. It's being open, it's being receptive, it's being honest, and it is always bringing the joy and the understanding of the importance of the evolution of us as social creatures. We are here to evolve together with each other. So active listening, really important. Asking powerful questions that are open-ended so that the client can have their great uh ahas and moving away from consulting and trying to solve the problem and always knowing that the client has the best answer. Always, the client knows the best answer. We are just here to ask powerful questions so they can dig deeper into themselves and they are and their own limiting beliefs potentially that will help them lead to a great breakthrough. And finally, when you're noticing areas where clients maybe aren't being super honest, be willing to go to those areas and ask the questions and bringing humor 
potentially, even in those. But then asking permission. I was wondering, asking a more probing question, or I'm curious, or say, is it okay if I'm honest with you in regards to this conversation? And when they say yes, have tact, but be polite, but go direct. Because again, you're paid to push. We're paid to push people into their greatness and understanding that really is truly the greatest honor. We are here as role models. We are here as influencers to help people lead into their highest and best self. And it's a way that we serve with the greatest sense of honor. And I certainly appreciate the work and the evolution of coaching as it's grown into a fantastic field for our own personal growth and in the growth of our community, our city, our country, and our nation and the world at large. 